This video talks about a 55-year-old right-handed man comes to the emergency department because of recent onset of severe throbbing right-sided orbitofrontal headache and diplopia. So he really comes for headache, diplopia, and eye pain. His other medical problems include poorly controlled hypertension, and chronic tobacco use, so he's a smoker. Neurologic exam shows that he's awake, alert, and oriented, and follows both simple and complex commands. Testing of the cranial nerves reveal intact visual equity bilaterally. Okay, so optic nerve is fine. Exam shows anisocoria, so problem with cranial nerve 3, with right pupil being dilated and non-reactive to both light and accommodation. So it's a right side is dilated. Left is okay. He has evidence of both vertical and horizontal binocular diplopia. The right eye is down and out. The right eye is down and out, which also tells me again this is cranial nerve 3. With ipsilateral ptosis, the rest of the neurologic exam is within normal limits. CT angiography of the head reveals a large aneurysm in the posterior fossa. A normal CT angiogram of the head is shown below. Now the question says, which of the following identifiers from the angiogram indicate cerebral vessel most likely to have an aneurysm causing this patient's neurologic deficits? Which of the following identifiers, so it's A, B, C, D, E, or F, from the angiogram indicates the cerebral vessel most likely to have an aneurysm causing this patient's neurological deficits? Now let's read the question one more time, okay? The thing is, on the CT scan, CT angiography, sorry, of the head reveals a large aneurysm in the posterior fossa. And the only problem we have with this patient is his right eye with cranial nerve 3, which is giving him diplopia and which is giving him ptosis. And we also know that there is a large aneurysm in the posterior fossa. You know what's happening. In the posterior, where exactly is cranial nerves, by the way? Where, what is the location of cranial nerve? It, the location of cranial nerve, it's originating between two major artery. Okay, so imagine this is one artery and this is the other artery. And cranial nerve is in the middle. Cranial nerve 3 is in the middle. Can you tell me what these arteries are called? Can you think of it? Now this one is called posterior cerebral artery. And this one is called superior cerebellar artery and cranial nerve 3 is right in the middle. Imagine if there is an aneurysm here or here. This is going to press on the cranial nerve 3. So this patient who is a chronic smoker which is a big risk factor for aneurysms and has, uncon and has poorly controlled hypertension which is another big factor for aneurysms has cranial nerve deficits. So I'm thinking either PCA or SEA is going to have an aneurysm. We're not sure exactly which one. Point is it's pressing on cranial nerve 3. Question says, which of the following? Now the question says, which of the following identifiers from the angiogram indicates cerebral vessel most likely to have an aneurysm causing this patient's neurological deficits? So the answer should be either posterior cerebral artery or it should be uh, uh, superior cerebellar artery. So from this arteriogram, we have to pick either one of them. So let's orient ourselves. So this seems like the basilar artery, and this seems like to be the end of the basilar artery. I can see the ventricles right here. So... The, the, the artery which is at the very top, this should be the posterior cerebral artery, this should be the right posterior cerebral artery, this should be the left posterior cerebral artery. 
right beneath this should be the right superior cerebellar artery this should be the left superior cerebellar artery and if this is the basilar artery this should be the parapontine artery and this should be anterior ICA, anterior inferior cerebellar artery now this patient is having problem on the right side so I would say the only viable option in this case is going to be this one which is going to be right posterior cerebral artery see how it's much thicker than the superior cerebellar artery so that's why I'm more sure if they even asked the name of it I would have said right posterior cerebral artery so in this patient the the aneurysm is in the right posterior cerebral artery or choice B